All right, here we have a Generac EXL8000 generator. Uh, the person was just using it for Hurricane Sandy. So the lights went out, went outside, it was still running, so it's just not generating any power. So we're gonna learn how to diagnose and fix the problem. All right, next we're gonna move that black cover. We're gonna do that by taking a quarter inch ratchet, uh, extension, and a seven millimeter socket. We're gonna remove these four screws around the outer cover here to gain access. Once you remove those four screws, you want to wiggle this grommet out so you can totally remove the cover and get it out of the way and set it aside. All right, once you remove your cover, it should look something like this. Up top here is your automatic voltage regulator, also known as the AVR. Right here is the inline booster for it. If you have an older Generac like this one, yours will have it. If you have a newer one, they have discontinued using it. All right, since we know it's our automatic voltage regulator up top here, we're going to change that. We got a brand new one, and with the new one, you do not need the inline booster, so we're going to remove that, hook the wires directly up to our automatic voltage regulator. All right, we removed the uh, inline booster. Let's come to this side, so that side is free. So we're going to remove the other side. Keep in mind which way it's going. You have to put it the same way. All right, so we disconnected the other side of our automatic voltage regulator, so it'll just slide out. Next, we'll remove this red and black wire. Uh, if you can, before you start taking stuff apart, snap a couple pictures with your phone that we have a reference point. All right, we just hooked up the red and black side of our new voltage regulator, part number 205858GS. So we're going to tuck it back up in that track that it was sitting in originally. Make sure that red part is facing you, that way these wires go back to the way they were. All right, this is what your new AVR installed should look like. We remove that inline booster. As this AVR does not require it, we hooked them directly up to our AVR, so we have those two leads hooked up. We have the two leads on the other side hooked up, and we have the two leads going to our brush set hooked up. All right, before reinstalling that cover, I suggest pushing it outside, starting it up, let it stabilize at its running speed, grab something small, and let's load test it. Uh, make sure it's generating electricity. If it is, you can go ahead and reinstall that cover. If it isn't, you lost the residual magnetism. Uh, you can watch my other video on how I tested the automatic voltage regulator, because that's also known as flashing the field. That'll also restore that. Uh, if you don't want to do it that way, you can grab a corded drill, plug it into your 110 outlet, hold the trigger on, turn the chuck a couple times, and that should also restore it. All right, after testing your generator, make sure it puts out power. You can reinstall that black cover. You want to make sure you install that grommet back correctly into the front cover as you don't want to pinch the wire. Hold it in place, put your four screws in, and you're done.